In this video, I want to show you guys how you can do macro photography without having a macro lens. You won't need a macro lens, you won't need uh, extension tubes or magnification filters, you don't need any of that. All you need is just a regular lens and you take it and you flip it. Welcome to Film Photography ASMR. <laughs> So there's two ways to go about this. You can go the free lensing method or you can go the mounted method. And if anybody's un unaware of what free lensing is, uh, it's basically just when you, you take the lens and you detach it from the camera. Uh, you know, your camera's on, you're taking pictures, but you're actually holding the lens just a little bit of, away from the body. In this video, we're actually going to talk about the mounted option. Uh, and to do that, we'll need an adapter. So this adapter is called a reversing ring, and they're like a, a couple bucks on Amazon or really anywhere you get your photo stuff. Uh, they're made for most manufacturers and most filter threads. So, and, well, and how this thing works, okay? So basically, there's two sides, obviously, um, and on the one side, you have a filter thread. So mine in particular is 77, okay? So I have 77 millimeter thread on one side, then on the other side, it's the mount to a Nikon F. So it's kind of like the back of a cam or the back of a lens rather on one side and then filter thread on the other side. And what this allows you to do is take your lens uh, and you screw it on like a filter, but then you take that, flip it around and you actually mount it to your camera. Uh, it's much more secure this way and I, it kind of frees up a hand. Now we'll need to shoot in manual because uh, the aperture is not going to be connected. It's not going to actually talk to the camera and let the camera know uh, what the aperture is on the lens. So, uh, you know, it, it's pretty much shooting in the dark. <laughs> An easy way to get your exposure, start it out with the camera attached, get your exposure, then flip it around and go from there. One thing that people don't like about doing this is that it exposes the rear element. Yes, I love crap. <laughs> The one thing that does kind of put people off a little bit about doing this is the rear elements are pretty much exposed and easily damaged. Uh, it's not like the front side of your lens where, you know, it'll have a little bit of protection. You have a, either a, a lens hood coming out or it'll be recessed in. I mean, the, it's, it's pretty bulbous, you know, when you flip this around, you have that rear element right there, right for the scratch and ready to go. So, uh, you know, definitely be careful. And, and because of this, people were like, mm, no, you know, I, I paid too much money for my lenses. I'm not going to mess around. In my opinion, shooting macro like this, it's fun, but it's kind of limited to still life because you're not going to want to go out and, and look for some bugs to shoot or, you know, even like shooting flowers and leaves and stuff. It's a, if it's like windy out, it's going to be kind of frustrating because your, your plane of focus and your area of focus that you're working with is so much smaller than normal. Uh, you know, getting that focus and, and keeping, keeping it locked on what you want uh, can be difficult at times. So this for me, at least, just my opinion, um, is, is kind of like an in-studio gig. Also worth mentioning is that different focal lengths will give you different magnifications. So it's totally worth it to, you know, try out different lenses and, and see what you like. And if you're wondering, you know, yes, this does work on both primes and zooms. You know, when you're using zooms, it takes a little bit more to get the focus because you're also, you know, working with, uh, working with the zoom, but uh, it's totally possible. So if you guys do try this, let me know. I'd, I'd love to hear how it turned out for you. Uh, I hope everybody's well, and until next time, we'll see you. <laughs> Do it. Okay.